That was the Gilby Clark band live at his house in his studio. I don't even know if he has ever heard that version. He mixed it, but uh, Gilby Clark, how you doing, buddy? Do we have? Him? I'm good, Troy. How are you today? Hey, thanks for calling, man. Hey, happy anniversary too, by the way. 26 years. God bless you. I can't even get oh, out of 26 thank days. You. Thank you. Congratulations. So what's what's happening? We are uh, we are out on the road without you. We're in Barrie, Ontario, Canada tonight. Right on. I see you guys had a venue change, and uh, tonight's the first night of this uh, Canadian run. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't. I don't actually know what happened with the venue change, uh, but uh, yeah, it's uh, seems like a pretty cool place. It's like a rock and roll lounge is what's called Fox Lounge, but it's nice. And uh, yeah, first night we're uh, using Dustin Stanky on drums. Right on, right on. That's cool. He's in um, Nikki's uh, solo band, or was he in that band? Six AM. Yeah, he's in 6 a.m., exactly. Right on, cool. He's a great slammer. So you got a new album coming out, and um, have you put a date on it? Do you have a name coming up? <laughs> am I, do I have a name and date? You know what? We're getting close to that. I I have a, I ha, I think I have a name. I mean, I, I got something I like. I, I'm not going to, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, give it to you yet. But uh, it, now it looks like it's going to come out after the first year. I was trying to get it out for the holidays. But the real answer is, you know, the whole record company thing is, uh, uh, I took the idea of, you know, making the record, finishing it, and doing the business at the end of it, and I thought it'd go a little bit quicker, but I'm thinking after the first year. But the record's pretty much done, Troy. Right. Uh, it is actually done. I'm, I'm, I'm in mixing world right now. Right on. You actually had some cool uh, guest play on there, and, and in fact, I was, uh, it was news to me that uh, Nikki Six played on a, on a track or two, and yeah. um, that's great. What, uh, what song did he play on? Nikki played on a new song called Tightwad, and it's funny because it's got Nikki Six on bass and Stephen Perkins on drums. What a combination! It's lethal. It's <laughs> great. I mean, you, you can't you can't get it any better than that. And uh, who else played on there? I see uh, Kenny I Aronoff. Agree. So uh, yeah, well, of course you you are playing drums on there, and uh, we got our boy EJ is on bass. Um, we have uh, Kenny Aronoff uh, played on. Uh, Quite a couple tracks. Uh, that Perkins played on a few tracks. Matt Starr. Um, let me see who else played. God, there's so many uh, guys. Uh, that I'm, I'm losing track. I played all the guitars and did all the lead vocals. Uh, EJ played bass. Sean McNabb played bass. Um, James Lomenzo played bass. Muddy played bass. You know, it's it's kind of uh, like... Got some, I, I think we got some. Yeah, it's putting an album oh together God. with with all of your like best friends. That's pretty cool. No, it's great. I mean, the, the, what, that's the one thing that's nice about a solo record, you know, is uh, you know you can experiment with different sounds. And as we all know, you know, each one of you drummers, you guys have the, your talent, and it and it fits kind of a. I mean, you're all versatile, but it's nice to have that different sound on different songs. You know, to me. You know, for a solo record, I like it when every song sounds different, like the different, you know, comes from a different place. You know, I, that's what a solo record's for. You know, if it's a band, it's different. It needs to sound consistent. But I, I like that. I, I like what everybody's brought to the music. I, I, I so far, I like it. I mean, I never put out a record that I didn't like, and, but this one uh, it's got a kind of a cool feel to it. When's the last time you uh, had an album out? I think 03. I mean, I could be lying, you know, but uh, I'm pretty sure it was 03. And the funny thing is, we put out the Colonel Parker record and my, my solo record on different labels the same year. I did two two records I participated on one year, and I haven't done one since, like, 15 years. Well, you know, after uh, hearing a couple of the tracks the last time I saw you in, in Los Angeles at your studio, I was, I was like, that's what you've been doing. Because, you know, I know you've been working on this for a long time and had been setting some... <laughs> some of your own, uh, you know, deadlines. But uh, then, of course, you know, uh, I think that opens up opportunity to have some of these different people come and play on your album and, and uh, take a different direction. So I, I'm sure everybody's looking forward to hearing the latest. Uh, I was really surprised yeah. to hear uh, how great and inspiring it was. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I, that's the one luxury of not having, you know, a real deadline. I mean, all the deadlines are self-imposed. But it is trying to make the songs the best that they can be. And it also allowed me, you know, to, you know, where I thought I had, you know, the right 10 songs, I got to explore it a little bit, you know. And that was nice because I've, I've actually written a couple new ones, which is definitely different for me. 
Right on. So you're going to be out in Canada. You're starting tonight, and you're making your way all the way until the end of the month, I see, right? Yeah, yeah. We're going to be, we're starting in Warren Barry, which is uh, a little bit north of Toronto, and we end in Ottawa. But uh, I, I don't end. Our last show is the 29th at the Pan, and then I'm doing a charity event uh, in Toronto on uh, the 30th. Uh, DJ will come home for that, but uh, yeah, I think we got like seven seven shows in like ten days. I think that's what it is. And you can see all those dates at gilbyclark.com, and that's with an e on the end there, uh, Mr. Clark. Well, listen, I appreciate <laughs> thank you. Thank I appreciate you. you calling in on my first show, and uh, thanks for uh, you know working out the bugs with me to get you on here. And I uh, look forward to seeing you again, and looking forward to the new album, and enjoy your time. Uh, in a, playing in America's hat called Canada. That's what we call Canada. Do you got any, any, any border, <laughs> exactly. any border actually, issues? Yeah, no, no, everything is, you know, it's so easy now. You know, remember we always had issues going back and forth, but, you know, it, it's so much better now. And, and you know what? It's like 78 degrees out here. It's beautiful. Perfect. Well, that's uh, perfect weather for rock and roll. The Motorcycle Cowboy, Gilby Clark, exactly. phoning in from Canada. Uh, new album coming out very soon. GilbyClark.com is where you can find all the news. Right on. TPF, man. Take care. Be good. Cheers, bro.